What's going on everybody? It's Eli here from Tree Fall Studios and today we're back with a brand new devlog on Tilting Tiles Micro Challenge. I'm a bit behind on my uploads. I was moving over the past couple of weeks, but now I should be back to my regularly scheduled programming. Okay, so today's devlog is just going to take a look inside the engine to show you the changes to the title screen. But when I first booted it up, I was on this level. It's the last level I was editing uh, the last time I had the project open. So I just thought I'd zoom in and just show you once again. I know I've showed off how Tilting Tiles works behind the scenes before, but uh, I thought that this level just shows it off pretty well because it's one of the larger levels in the game. And then when you see it from this view and like just how complicated it is to calculate everything, it's kind of crazy. Um, and you know, you can see, I can you can see me roll around on the camera here and show you some of the art and the sides of the levels. Uh, one of my favorite things about this game, it's very very subtle, but uh, now the teleports they didn't do this in the original game. They glowed in um, Tilting Tiles Ultimate Tilt Remix, but they did not actually emit light. So now I have lights on them, so you can see that there's blue lights on these walls here. This one is doing yellow lights on this wall. You scroll down here and you can see, not yellow, um, pink lights on the walls. You can see it's bouncing off this wall. Uh, and over here where it's really bright in the sun, you can see this one is just very subtly landing on the blue. So just a little detail to mention. Uh, another one of the changes in Micro Challenge, uh, an additional polish change from the other two. And if you can see, I can click the play button here and it will load for just a second. And then, oh yeah, now we can check it out in the game. So you can see there's all the particles, the dust flowing around in the wind. There's, you can see these are spinning around and moving. And these are where all the teleports were. And you can see that they're glowing. Um, and it's just pretty awesome to see this kind of running behind the scenes. And I've noticed uh, this game was designed to be around the perspective to where the perspective gives you challenges. So you have to try to figure out where things are. But one of the number one complaints about the game is that they can't is people can't really fully grasp where everything is. Um, and when you look at the levels in 3D like this and spin around and be able to see all the different spots that you can go to and where things are hiding, uh, it's just a whole new look at the game. So that's gonna transition us into looking at the title screen because the title screen does this. But I think for um, Tilting Tiles 2, the next game that I make in the series that I will be implementing a type of movable camera so that we can take a look at that at the so players can take a look at the levels more closely and examine their paths and more clearly understand where they're going so perspective based puzzles are pretty much going to go away and they're going to only be used in the first three games at least i got to put some of them in there i think it's pretty cool all right so we're taking a look at the title screen now i'm going to go ahead and play this so we can talk about it and talk about a few of the things that have changed and then i'm going to show you behind the scenes uh, what that kind of looks like. So if you are unfamiliar with this game, this is a departure from the original two Tilting Tiles games. Those games had the same perspective camera that you play on the levels and they would look at a tiny little level and then your menu would look like this. This level I made from scratch just to have a giant title screen level so we could have this very subtle camera pan as it goes around the level so you can just look at the level in detail the music is written to match this feeling this just kind of melodic puzzle game very peaceful minimalist it just slowly moves around the level while you have just this awesome music in the background this is one of my favorite title screens i've ever done if not my favorite ever um, you can see the logo is the same and everything looks the same for the original tilting tiles logo but there is now the micro challenge logo beneath it and this is the final transition this spot from this angle so you get an angle um, facing each direction of the level basically so you can get to see the background art like these tiles in the background here uh, there's different background art you can see in all the different angles and it basically just shows you up close in detail what these levels look like and then it starts its animation back over so if we press the X button actually my controller unplugged I'm on the PC obviously I'm using the 
um, Unity engine to show you guys what this looks like. You can see that this looks the same. There's now a multiplayer tab and you can go through here and there are five multiplayer stages unlocked. And then if I hover my mouse over this, you can see there's a P1 ready, P2 ready. And as you press X on the PlayStation controllers, it will say, it would change to ready, and when you're both ready, you can then select a stage. This is completely an optional bonus mode for you to solve levels together. Um, I'll probably talk about this in another devlog, so I'll just exit out of that. The how to play got a little bit of a minimalization here. Uh, slim this up to make sure it sounds a little bit better and easier to read, and you can see I show you how to change size on this. And then the real thing I wanted to talk about for the title screen is under stage select. You can also see now that there is a background image that is kind of um, additionally blurring out the background. You can see um, when, when you click into the menu, it blurs out the background, so all the text is easier to read. But when we're going over here to this text, there's a new image that subtly hides the background and makes it even darker, and it makes this text even darker. So the main menu here is kind of hidden even more, so you realize you're on this menu. And the main thing I wanted to show is, you know, the original Tilting Tiles had this stage select system, and then Tilting Tiles uh, Ultimate Tilt Remix actually had a new image here. Um, one of them was regular, one of them was, uh, I believe there were circles, um, and then there was square diamonds, basically, and then now this game, there are square thumbnails. But the major thing that I changed for this title screen is that now there is an animation on the thumbnail. As you click through, um, it flies in, flies out, warps out, warps in, warps out, warps in uh, with the new image. And that is just a subtle, small detail, a change for this game. And I think that it just it just adds so much. The menu is so much cooler. You can see that the up and down arrows that tell you to scroll up and down to select levels, they still animate and you can see the stage name changes and your score changes here, just like the original games. But I just think that this is such a cool little touch um, just to make the menu even more interactive and a little bit better than the previous game. So that's what I wanted to mention here on the title screen. Um, new logo, um, multiplayer is new, how to play is new this uh, subtle background image is new and this animation is new. But overall, I think that this animation here, as you can see this, and you can see the world here in the game engine, you can see there's all these different um, towers in the background for art and you can just only catch glimpses of them while the title screen is running. I'll go ahead and run it one more time so we can see it regular and this little animation for the micro challenge logo is new as well so lots of touches on the title screen that's why i kind of want to mention it in a devlog because i spent a lot of time working on this it's one of my favorite title screens ever um, that i've ever done so i just wanted to show you guys all the little subtle changes because it took a lot of work to get this going i think i'm going to do like one more devlog um, showing off multiplayer and a couple of the new puzzle features really in depth on what makes this game different than the first two tilting tiles games so if you're enjoying these uh, looks at the game you can pick up the game now it's available on PlayStation for only 49 cents our experiment on the pricing didn't really work out too much a lot of people did buy it and a lot of people have been playing it and really enjoying it but uh, not as many people picked it up as I had hoped at that low price so learn something new never gonna do a price that low ever again but either way I hope that people are able to pick up this game since it's so affordable and get a ton of enjoyment out of it it's available now on the PlayStation Store the links will be in the description below if you're new to this channel I make game development content like this showing off my games and I also help new people who are trying to get into the game industry who have no experience get started in the video game industry so if that's interesting to you be sure to subscribe to the channel and if you could drop a like on this video it would help out a ton we also have a patreon page so just to mention that the links for that will be in the description below and i gotta give a personal shout out to everybody who supports treefall studios on patreon.com 
I got to give a shout out to Carmen Red, Overhyped Gamer, and Shark and Minnow. Thanks for what you guys do for Treefall Studios on Patreon.com. I could not make these videos without you guys. So if you're interested in the Patreon page, you can check out the links in the description below. All right, guys, with that being said, I will catch you in the next video. Hope you're looking forward to new Tilting Tiles content as well as new Treefall Studios games videos coming soon. Have a great day.